Drew and Stu are on the air. Ready? Ready? Whether you're fading with Drew or riding with Cam, this is the place to get your weekly NFL picks. Powered by Sports Interaction, your homegrown sportsbook. Always remember to bet local. Hello and welcome to week nine of the Drew and Stu podcast and happy Halloween to you on our viewers and listeners. Cam, it's Halloween. Are you a handout candy guy? Are you a... You give out the big bars, you the little bars, or you the guy just leaves the bowl on the porch and lets the kids come and you don't even hand it out? What's your deal? That's it. Creepy neighbor. Busy. Just going to leave the light on. Going to fill it up. I actually went and got some candies. I got 20 Twix. I got 20 Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I got like uh, a couple other. Didn't get score, Drew. Sorry. Kids too young for hard toffee. (laughs) Got some others. Whatever's in the bowl, I don't even care. The first kid who gets there can put 50 in. Like, I got no. (laughs) First come, first serve. That's the way I it used works. To, I used to have no remorse for those houses when I was a kid. I used to grab the bowl and be like, boom, in the pillowcase. I don't yeah, care. That's well, you like, should. Why Why should you? Like, there, there's literally going to be only a few kids in the complex. First kid who gets here wins. That's the way the game is played. And then I turn off my light. I do uh, I do enjoy sitting on the porch with the coffee, handing out candy, seeing some of the costumes. But uh, And now we're doing... Porch. What are you yeah. Doing? cold outside no i'm in my home like you so you're telling me uh, yeah, you actually got to wait outside and like, i'd rather hey, sit kids? on the porch cam than have to be answering the door answering the door answering the door like i hate that i'd rather just well, that's be why out you there. that's why you keep the light off and leave the bowl there they'll figure it out themselves drew yeah uh, i guess, See, I, like, guess. No, I, I, I don't have families like I was, i'm watching my neighbor today he's putting up ghost witches all sorts of stuff his place looks amazing and then i looked at my place and i just went wow I have a bird's nest with shit all over my front porch from like last year and, and a Budweiser bucket full of like my buddy's old ashes and shit. Like I feel like such a loser, but anyway. Do you have, oh, I thought, I thought you meant like your dead buddy's ashes. I wasn't thinking of cigarettes. No, for a second. I, I was like, like, yeah, I was like, oh my God, who is this guy? Well, I was like, why would guy? you have a Budweiser yes, bucket yes, with your yes, dead I friend's keep my, ashes? My buddy's ashes out, out of my porch in a Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, that's what you I was know, like. The thing where, you know, when you get the four beers for, remember the deer deals yeah, yeah, at the yeah, bar, yeah. those little silver cans? Yeah, my buddy's ashes are in there. God <laughs> rest his soul. He loved Budweiser, Budweiser and Bud Light. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's oh, cigarette ash is just on and top. By the of way, it. I have a problem with the, the your numbers that you're going to say because I know I would, just t- tell me what I got. That's uh, I got to look at these things because I always think uh, you're screwing me up. Here. You were 11 and 5, Cam, last week, 3 and 0 in your best bets. I sent you the picture. Tell uh, me what games you... I got wrong. Uh, Bills, correct. Yeah. Packers, right. incorrect. Washington, oh, incorrect. I'm never, I'm never eating cheese again. Washington was, well, no, no. Washington was, it was seven six and, and, half, and a half. It was six and a half when we got it. So we got it wrong. Okay, I consider that a push. Next. Uh, New England, we got wrong. Both of us were on New England. So that's already four. Oh, yeah, and we then. Switched, we switched off that. We switched off both picks. We had Minnesota and we had Miami and we switched. Yep. Okay. And then and... Uh, the last one was uh, San Fran. We didn't switch to the Bengals like we should have. I thought we okay. Sorry. No, because you took him three and a half. Because you were like, "Oh, it's low," and Purdy's playing. I'm take three. But Drew, you saw my parlay that I sent you. That was oh, I know. Twelve. I know. Cam went eleven to twelve parlay. Was this close? Twenty grand. Jordan Love. One four in the red zone. Couldn't score. Cam. I I don't don't understand that. As I said, Drew, I'm never eating cheese again. I hate that. Honestly, like I like when I hear like Packers and cheese now, like I get very upset. Very upset. Yeah, it's so frustrating. This week. It's so frustrating. Yeah, I know we might. I might go back to the wall this week, Cam, uh, too, as well. So uh, bad, okay, yeah, I don't know. Well, I wasn't the Vikings last week, but still. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do with these games. But <laughs> make sure we got the same spreads too, okay? Because I don't yes. want to do no monkey business. Well, okay, I, so you I, Cam, I'm all, whatever I say goes. That's how it works. Uh, the okay. Titans going to Pittsburgh on Thursday. No, no, night no, no. Before game. we start, before we start, then we six and zero on the best bets. Oh, we were, we were, we were six and zero on the best bets. Uh, so oh, congrats geez, to us. The best. Uh, the best part of like what we did, you got to tell people we actually. It's did true. Well. It's true. Uh, it usually, can whenever we have the same best bet in our three, we have good weeks. We both had Dallas. We both said they were going to smoke them. I've seen a lot of other shows where like, oh no, the Rams are going to keep it close, and me and you were just like, no, they're not. Uh, the Dallas defense. Dallas is great effort. at home. They yeah. mur- they murder mediocre teams at home. They beat the Rams by a million. They beat New England by thirty something, and they beat uh, even the Jets like a pretty good team by like twenty something, didn't they? So yep. uh, they're good at home. Just remember and- that Cowboys good on turf. And yeah, they're good against non-mobile quarterbacks, like we said. And Stafford was on his ass the whole good, game. Good so call. Uh, good call, buddy. Yeah. Anyway, six and one best bets. Cam, you survived again. So you are still alive in Survivor. This is a very tough week, though. So I don't know where you're going to go in this one. 
Uh, this might be a survivor killer this week, as they call it. The Drew and Stu podcast is brought to you by Sports Interaction. Sports Interaction is your homegrown sports book where local takes on an entirely different meaning, focusing on the teams, games, and players that matter to you. Sports Interaction is on the ground on top of all the local trends, offering prop bets that you'd never even imagine existed. From same game parlays to best in class casino, featuring thousands of games and live 24 7 dealers, giving you that Vegas experience any time of day. Come for the sports, stay for the casino, play blackjack or roulette all night with me and my and Cam and everybody else. Cam, I, I know you love the twenty four seven blackjack. I like the roulette. Uh, you get a little uh, frisky sometimes. Throw five bucks on red, five bucks on black. Uh, you know what the whatever. best is, and no one you've, you no one's talking about. I'll give the, a free plug for. I, I have an account for the. I love the pinata. Like no, when you get a guy a, in golf at like seventy to one, like you get you get the sorry the hundred to one pinata, and he's listed like John Rom eight to one, like. Sometimes it's hard, but you know what? I've had pinatas before where I get guys at 100 to 1 that are listed at 15 to 1. That's fun. I remember I won with Colin Morikawa like that. I think in a tournament, they gave me 100 to 1. He closed it like 18. I'm like, thank you, pinata. But also, sometimes you get loser guy at 100 yeah. to 1. That's 250 yeah. to 1. But it's fun. Don't you like mystery in life? I, I, I do, do like it. I do I'm like a mystery pinata. Man. Well, um, I love pinatas. And Cam, like now Sports Interaction is introducing the Locker Room, the first of its kind in Canada, a live watch party for the biggest games of the week, providing in-game betting tips built directly into the app and site, a groundbreaking dual screen experience, Sports Interaction, your homegrown sports book. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN to open an account and bet local. 19 plus, please play responsibly. If you have questions or concerns about your gambling or the gambling of someone close to you, please go to conicsontario.ca. Um, but let's get into Thursday Night Football Cam. The Pittsburgh Steelers hosting the Tennessee Titans. Titans, Will Levis, what a debut, four touchdowns. And then Mike Vrabel Vray- after the game is just like, hey, kid, like calm down. Like you're being too confident in your post-game interview, blah, blah, blah. Like just <laughs> takes the excitement right out of the sales. I was yep, like, he sure dude, does. he's a rookie who threw four touchdowns. Why don't you pump him up a little? Like, congratulate and him people on people called him crap. All these guys I do shows are, oh, Will Levis oh, sucked in, in the preseason. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, sure he is. Whatever. I don't know if he could do it again, but give the kid some love. Yeah, I don't know about his mechanics cam, the way he flicks that ball, but he was sending moonshots to DeAndre Hopkins all game. And I was like, you know what? I like the way this is going. Um, but a rookie quarterback going against Mike Tomlin on a short week, no time to prep. I got to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers here, Cam. I don't care if it's Mitchell Trubisky at quarterback. In fact, I might like that a little bit better than Kenny Pickett. Am I crazy? I just did a thing, but you got to understand the line was three. So two and a half. I think the Steelers probably win this game by three. So I'm with you on this one, Drew. This could be ch- changed before game time. I got to be honest, I don't like the way Pittsburgh's playing. I think they got a lot of problems with their team. Like To be fair, the refs screwed them hard against Jacksonville. They, Cam. Yeah, oh yeah. And, and Pittsburgh's never had calls before. Like, yeah, fair, no. They, fair, they, fair. They, I get, yeah, you're they, the wrong guy to complain. No, you're, you're right, though. Guy. But you're right. But you're right. They they got, but this is the NFL. A lot of teams get screwed. A, a yeah, lot field of goal right? nonsense, though, Cam. Offside on yeah. of their guard. I know. I know. I know. I'll take the Steelers with you. But, Drew, I think we might have to change. Maybe this Levis thing, we can get some Levis magic. But doing that at home in beautiful throwbacks versus going into the Steel Steelers and winning, uh, you know, winning this game, and it's a very short spread. But the sport, sport, uh, short spread tells you that. I think people are kind of think the Titans can do well. But I'll take Steelers minus two and a half. Cam, I'd probably take this up to six and a half. I was taking the Pittsburgh hmm. side. I just think. Oh, you sound like, confident. Cam. A rookie quarterback is not going to be ready to play Tomlin defense in four days. It's just not going to happen. Uh, he's going to see TJ Watt and be like, oh, shit, this is what my welcome to the NFL moment. Sack fumble on the first play of the game or something crazy. Um, really? Yeah, I think it's going to be bad news bears for the Titans this one. They might get shut out. That's how confident I am uh, in wow. the Steelers. Okay. Uh, we'll see if it's in my minerals. We don't know. We'll see uh, later in the show, Cam. Sounds uh, that way. But we'll, we'll both be on the Steelers. Uh, Miami Cam going over to Germany to take on the Chiefs in Frankfurt. The first time Tyreek Hill takes on his former squad after all that trash talk about him saying two is a better thrower than Patrick Mahomes and all the nonsense that came out of his mouth. We've seen the Dolphins. They haven't beat a team above 500 since last September. Uh, they've lost the two teams above 500 this season. Which Dolphins team shows up in this game, Cam? And which Chiefs team shows up? You can start this one. Didn't I start the last? Oh, no, you started the last one? Okay. Yes, I did. Um, I don't even remember anymore. Sorry. It's been a weird day. I'm going to take uh, Miami. Um, listen, the Chiefs have been good. I was on Denver last week. I just 
I don't know how sick Mahomes was. Does he have something real? Is he? Oh, did he you see he better? walked in holding Theraflu, the thing? In, uh, in his picture, walking the stadium, he's holding the drugs. I'm like, this guy's walking with an excuse already, so you know if he plays bad. Yeah. Oh, look, this is why. I was like, come yeah, on. I got Theraflu. Anyway, Kansas City's good, and usually they don't lose uh, back-to-back games. But I'm going to take Miami plus the points here. I just think uh, this is a huge game. People, I think Miami's sick of people saying, you don't beat anybody good. Show up. Well, we'll see. Then again, their, their coach is a yeah. real cocky guy, too. Oh, I'm, I'm Mike McDaniel. I'm going to make sure the guys get to see the sights in Frankfurt. And right, dude, when I, that guy's press conference flick, like, honest to God, like, his he, the guy thinks he's the smartest guy in the room all the time. It really bothers me. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten beaten up yet. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> Plus Cam, uh, I love the Chiefs in this spot. Uh, you're giving me Mahomes off a loss. This could change. The Dolphins coming off a win. The Dolphins haven't beat a good team yet this season. I don't care. You look at the schedule. They'll beat who they have to beat. Yeah, sure. They lost two teams above 500. The Chiefs, because they lost last week, I like them even more. You're getting angry Mahomes. Everyone's doubting him now for MVP. Andy Reid's now no longer the shiny offensive genius. It's because, oh, look, the enemy left. Your offense sucks now. Oh, Mike McDaniel now has the best offense fo- in football. This is going to be angry Andy Reid off a loss, Cam, in prime time. I know it's at 9 in the morning, but it's still prime time, solo slot against a Dolphins defense that allows a lot of points. I think we're going to get like a four-touchdown performance from Mahomes here. I love the Chiefs minus two and a half in this spot. Well, tell Mahomes to bring the Neo Citroen. I'm not sure if they sell it in Frankfurt. We'll see how healthy he is, but whatever. Uh, this pick can change. You're right. There's a lot of things to like about Kansas City. I know a lot of guys who listen to our podcast who we respect uh, told me you got to jump on the Chiefs, and we usually agree. Like, we have contrarian picks. We were both on Denver last week, and I respect his opinion, but I was not on Denver. Miami. I was on the wrong uh, side. I was of not. I, no, yeah. I was on Denver. I, yeah, you were on Denver. I was not. I was not. You I was were not. never on uh, Denver. All right. Well, where do you think Mystery Tiebreaker Man lands on this one? Chiefs. Oh, easy. Favorite team. Yeah, easy pick. Easy pick on this one, Cam. Uh, I, shouldn't even, I shouldn't even ask you when it's Chiefs playing. I shouldn't even ask I, well, you. It's part of the game. So, yes, you do have to ask. Fair, me, but, fair. Yeah. Fair. Um, the Vikings, Cam. Kirk Cousins, done for the season, season after tearing his Achilles. Uh, he's probably not going to pull a Aaron Rodgers and make the fans think he's coming back when he's not. Uh, the Falcons hosting them. They're four and a half point favorites. We don't know if Ritter's going to start or if Heineke's going to start for the Falcons. What we do know is Jaron Hall is going to start for the Vikings. He was three for four. He had a turnover in his 11 snaps cam. It, nothing in my brain tells me I should bet on the Vikings, but this spread should be a lot higher. So I have to take the Vikings here, Cam, because something smells super, super fishy. Am I crazy? Uh, you're crazy. I don't know if it's super fishy. The line went from four to four and a half. It Atlanta, should be like six and a half, seven, Cam. Should it? Should it really? I don't know. Yes. Atlanta doesn't. Atlanta lost outright to Will Levis in his NFL debut. Uh, they barely, who they, who they play like Tampa Bay. Like they're, yeah. it's not like they're playing good football or anything like that, but I'm taking Atlanta this week. Frank Falcon's going to make the list. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, Drew, and to all our listeners and viewers, I hate this week. Like, I'm not yes. going to lie to you. Like yes. we're taping this thing really early. We don't even know. Minnesota can make a trade for Jameis Winston for all the hell we know before the trade deadline. He probably doesn't Winston start in four out. days notice though, right? No, you know, I, I agree with that, but you, oh yeah. Who's the other Jets quarterback from BYU uh, that, uh, oh, sorry. Gave away the answer. The BYU quarterback rookie, uh, Zach Wilson. Yes. Same Hall. Hall was his back. Uh, he backed up. Like, Wilson was a starter. He was the backup. Good luck with that. Frank Falcon. Ah, ah, ah. Give me another half chirp. I'm taking the birds over the Vikings. All right, Cam. Yeah, my part of me is only saying, like, who in their right mind is going to the window to bet on the Vikings, no matter what the line is, unless it was, like, plus I, I don't seven. think who in the right wind mind would bet on Atlanta at four and a half, but we have to pick I... every game. Fair, fair. I'm just thinking that there's something fishy going on here, so that's why I'm taking Minnesota. This could change on Thursday, but so I got to go against the grain sometimes when I smell something's up, and this is something that I smell. Smell and fishy to me. Uh, where do you think Mystery Tiebreaker Man is on this one? Atlanta. Correct. Frank Falcon, uh, Mystery Tiebreaker Man, is with you. So two and all, two and all with uh, with Bagman so far. Actually, yes, back yes. To uh, last week we were in agreement a lot, but let's see if that continues. Uh, the disagreement continues this week. Seattle Cam coming off their – Blowout, but not so much blowout because Cleveland gave them more trouble than uh, you thought, but they did cover the number. We got the the cover. That's true. It's true. They're going to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. The Ravens, uh, the back door was open, screwed me, helped you out. Arizona covered the back door. And the Ravens putting Nelson Aguilar on the onside kick team. What are you doing? Like, you see this guy. He's like right in his hands, drops it. They almost blew the whole game because of that. Um, Yeah, Cam, do you think your Seattle Seahawks can go into Baltimore and cover the six or the five and a half? So what is it? Five and a half or six? It's five and a half. 
Oh, okay. I'd, I'd prefer six, but I'll take Seattle at five and a half. Yeah, I do. Uh, I think the Seattle Seahawks are, as I said before, they barely cover at home, but they're very good on the road. I think they like these one o'clock games. I'm feeling confident in this team right now. Can you believe the Seattle Seahawks lead the NFC West where San Francisco didn't have a loss three weeks ago? Yeah. Things changed pretty crazy in the NFL. That's the thing. It's a long season and Seattle could hit the skids too. But you know what? I'm down with Seattle in this in this spot. I know Baltimore's a little bit better, but that's a couple too many points. I think it's a very close game. I will take Seattle. I think they can win out, right? But they might lose a heartbreaker. So I'll take the Seahawks. Yeah, I'm going to go with Seattle in here in this spot as well, Cam. I like Baltimore Ravens a little bit better, but to win by six, that's a lot. I think they win on a last second Justin Tucker field goal or they're up 10 and Seattle scores a backdoor touchdown to cover the number. Uh, it's just too many points, so I got to go with Seattle here. Um, but would it shock you if somehow the Ravens pull out a 20-point win? No. no. I mean, I don't usually like West Coast teams flying all the way east. It's different uh, for Seattle now. Yeah, like you said, reason. they've been better this year on that. I had a better last few years. That's it. It's not just like a trend for like one year, like the last few years. Remember they won in Detroit. I know Detroit kind of gave them that game, but they went outright. So this one o'clock time slot for the West coast team, I don't know what it is. Like they have good fans, the 12th man, but they play really well on the road. Now it's almost like they're more prepared. So I'll, go, I'll take the Seahawks. Yeah. It's like uh, they're better with the silent count. I don't know when Gino doesn't get to call audibles. <laughs> it's just, they do better. Who knows? Uh, I have no clue. I don't know, Cam. Uh, the Cleveland Browns hosting the Arizona Cardinals. The the Arizona Cardinals look likely going to start Clayton Toon or Kyler Murray. It's not going to be Josh Dobbs. They confirmed that. Um, if it's Kyler, maybe I go Arizona, but probably not still. I think I got to go Cleveland minus seven and a half. This is a lot of points, Cam, but their defense is going to give Toon or Murray in his first game back a lot of trouble. And they're at home. You don't want to go to the dog pound and be trying out new things with a new quarterback. Uh, it's not a very good recipe for success, Cam. So I know it's a lot of points, but I got to go with Cleveland here. It's amazing to me, as we said before, uh, Stefanski, all you people out there, NFL Network, everybody, he's the reason Seattle won that game. Instead oh, yeah. of running the ball, they throw. he throws a stupid pass, it's Jamal Adams in the head and bounces into an interception. They have a short field, and Smith and Jigba gets a back-to-back -back mm -hmm. touchdown in as many weeks to give Seattle the win and cover. This guy's a moron. But the one thing I'll tell you is, Jim Schwartz's defense at home against Arizona, they might score more than the spread itself. I wouldn't be surprised if their defense scored 14 points. But mm -hmm. hell, Miles Garrett scored 17 himself against Indianapolis. Give me Cleveland Brown to absolutely annihilate these guys and win this game by 17. I'm taking Cleveland. So that might uh, that's going to be on your short list for survivor picks then it sounds like uh based uh, on It uh, sounds like, that oh. way, Drew. You're you're yeah. sniffing around the recipe. Oh, I think man. you might Can be you right. Imagine? How'd you get knocked on a survivor? Oh, I I bet I on the Cleveland Walker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like yeah, it's uh just asking for trouble. Um, all right. The Green Bay Packers. Is Deshaun hopefully... going to play ever, or is it just is he just going to pack it in? I think his feelings like... are hurt or something. I don't know. He's just a, guy's, the... Wow. He's... What a, I, I would love he's... a job like that. Well, I his tears with his $250 just million guaranteed. The guy should wear a balaclava on the sidelines. He's robbing that franchise. <laughs> it's just Next. $250 million just guaranteed, too. Like, just a, so it's dumb. a dumb, dumb franchise. Dumb franchise. Um, I agree. Uh, the Rams, Cam, going to Green Bay to take on your Cheeseheads, your favorite team in the NFL based off last week's results. Uh, the Green Bay Packers, three-point favorites at home. Too early, Drew. Uh, you can start this one, Cam. I will. Uh, I'll take Green Bay, and I hate you. Uh, you guys cost me. If I, Actually, it's my fault. If I just would have stayed on Minnesota, I would have hit a 12-game parlay for over $20,000 and another one, too. I don't know why I switched. The Rams, I don't know if Matt Stafford, he got pretty banged up. I don't think he's going to play. His thumbs yeah, are mashed up. It's weird throwing so, hand. I'm going to take Green Bay minus three, and finally maybe they show up for a week. I don't like the game, but – Give me the Packers. I, 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 I hate this team, but I'm taking them. Yeah, I will not be betting this game at all, Cam. You'll see $0 out of my bank account going to the towards this hot football game. Uh, I may not even watch a snap of it on Sunday. I'll just watch it back the next day. Like, I don't know. This game just stinks, especially if Stafford doesn't play. Because I have to pick a team, give me the underdog, just because I don't trust Matt LaFleur and Jordan Love. Jordan Love proved last week that He's just not an NFL quarterback, Cam. I know after two weeks, everyone was like, oh, look, he's throwing all these touchdowns. Since then, just brutal. Their whole offense looks brutal. They have Aaron Jones back, and they're just not using him. Like, the, what, the, what are the Packers doing, Cam? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Um, I have no clue what they're doing. I I have no answer for you, Drew. I just don't think Jordan loves Like, Kirk ready. Cousins goes I, down, and you get the ball back twice, you don't score a point. I, it's yeah. crazy. I know. They couldn't even cover a teaser. Even if they lost by seven, like, uh, anyway, let's – uh, anyways, where do, you think, uh, where do you think Mystery Tiebreaker Man is on this one? 
Green Bay. Ooh, incorrect. He's on the Rams. You took too long to think about it. It was the Rams. You took too long. When okay. you think too long, it's all, you're, you get you're it wrong. Right. When I just have it, it's just yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Cam, going to Houston to take on the Texans. We were both on Carolina last week. That was one switch I made that was correct. Uh, Carolina, last second win. Uh, the refs tried taking their field goal away like three times. I was like, what is going on here at the end of that game? I know. Um, but they came out on top. Carolina did. Tampa lost to Buffalo on Thursday night. They've had 10 days to prepare for this game, which makes me lean towards the Bucks. But tell me why you're on Houston. I'm not on Houston. See, why do you make assumptions? I didn't tell you the picks. That's why uh, I, don't I just, understand why you I just say assume, I'm going to be on Houston. When I see home uh, home Houston Texans, I think, oh, this is Cam's favorite. But nah, uh, that's not my favorite. I don't like the game, but I'm going to take three points with the Buccaneers. They actually, you know, they grinded against the Bills. Hell, if Godwin saw that ball in the air, they could have beat Buffalo outright. God, the thing is, the Bills killed themselves in that game. But you know one thing about Tampa Bay is, Drew, they're three and zero on the road. They're a very good ATS team on the road. So I'm going to keep that trend. I usually don't really care too much about trends, but it's good enough for me. I'm getting three points. And the thing about Houston is. They're a good upcoming team. I don't like laying points with them. I like getting points with them. So give me yar, 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 three yars for the Buccaneers. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Bucs as well, Cam, here. Uh, like we've seen with the Bucs all season, they beat teams that are worse than them, but they lose the teams that are better for them than them. Um, Houston, a bit worse than the Bucs, so I think they pull this one out outright. So I like them on the money line, not just plus three. So I got to take them as plus three uh, underdogs here, Cam. And speaking of the Bills game, yeah, the Bills fourth and one twice on the opponent 40-yard line. They decide to punt the ball. I was getting so mad. I was like, you have Josh Allen. Just QB sneak it. The game's over. Like, I don't why, understand why? what that team's doing, yeah. but we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it when we get to that game. Uh, all right, the Commanders, Cam, going to New England to take on the Patriots. New England, they were in the game for a little bit, but ended up getting smoked by the Dolphins. Uh, we thought it was going to be closer than that. Probably should have been, but I don't know what uh, what's going on in New England right now. I don't know what's going on with that franchise. The Commanders... They covered for betters on Sunday. They didn't cover for us on the show. They kept that game close against Philly. Uh, they should have won that game outright if it wasn't for Sam Howell throwing that pick at the end of the game. Uh, yep. they, they hand the game to Philly. Cam, they should have won, won outright, correct? They could have. Uh, I don't understand how I got that line at six and a half when it was seven. All the, Anyway, that's just, that's something that me and you will discuss after the show, <laughs> even though I love you. You're a friend, but uh, sometimes I wonder what you're doing to me. Uh, I'm going to take New England here. I love New England. Minus three and a, I can't, sorry, let's roll tape. I love New, no, I do not love New England. I like New England in this spot. Okay. Washington on the road. I think they actually lose this game by a touchdown. Let's remember one thing about New England. They were hanging. They were hanging with Miami. Mac Jones had a nice little pop fly can of corn that got picked off and bam, Bob's your uncle. You're done. You can't do that. But the thing is, Washington, I don't trust them. I trust them in a divisional game when they want to battle. I think that Philly game took a lot out of them. They show up flat. Give me New England to win this game and cover. Yeah, I'm going to take New England as well, Cam. I know a lot of people will be on Washington because they're like, oh, look how high-powered their offense was against Philly. Uh, New England's the worst team in the league, blah, blah, blah. But I think New England can win this game outright, and three points isn't enough. Uh, so I'll take them four to six, maybe, like a 24-17 type win for the Patriots. Yep, I agree. The so give me, uh, what do you call them? Tommy New England? Like, I don't know what you call, like, what do you call the Patriots? Patrick Patriot? It's Paul, Polly Patriot. Paul Polly Patriot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Boston Paul. Polly Patriot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you have? Frank know, yeah. Falcon, Paul Patriot. Yeah. Isn't that beer on Family Guy? Pawtucket Ale? Yeah, it's uh, oh, Paul, yeah, yeah, Paul, yeah, yeah. Polly Patriot. That's what I'm saying, but... It's a horrible game. Drew, we have some, uh, what a week. We have some of the worst matchups this week and hard games to pick and some classics. It's a real. Uh, At least game. like the solo games are good this week, Cam, which I like yeah. when the primetime games are all good. Um, sure. All right. Badgent going to New Orleans to take on the Saints. The Saints, seven and a half point favorites. Fields may be back, but he's not going to start regardless. They've already announced Badgent as the starter. Um, the Saints looked really good last week, Cam. Derek Carr has those flashes where you're like, oh, this guy's an elite quarterback. And then it comes back and he's like, oh, maybe not so much. Um, do you like the Saints to cover seven and a half points? This is a lot of points to trust New Orleans to cover, no? I agree, but the thing is, you know what? Chicago might be the play, but Drew, I, it's really weird. Like, I know when New Orleans is going to do – they do well in the games that everyone thinks they're going to suck in. Like, I was very confident – against the Colts, and I was very confident when they murdered New England. I don't know what it is. I'm, I kind of see this team sometimes, but it is a lot of points, and this is the type of game they'll screw up. Like right when you think New Orleans is back in the game, I'm going to take them, but let me give you a warning. This could be changed by the end of the week when we do our prop show. I don't really 
you're asking these guys to win by eight points, but I don't trust the Bears either. The Bears are I know, horrible. I know. That's the issue. Give me the Saints. Like I, I, this is that's a this is a tough game, man. I'm taking the Saints tough. cam solely because of their defense. I think like out of the four units in this game, offense and defense, I think the Saints have the best unit in their defense. I think that keeps Badgett in check. I mean, he struggled against the Chargers defense cam. The Chargers defense sucks. Um, so give me the Saints to win this game by 10 to 20. Um, can the Bears score more than 13 points in this game? Probably not. No, I'm thinking they get 13, and I think New Orleans gets 24. Yeah, so then they cover the number. So give me the Saints as well, Cam. All right, we're in agreement there. The Colts now going to Carolina. Another barn burner, Cam. Uh, the Carolina Panthers, three-point underdogs at home. Uh, like one of our viewers told us on Twitter, all the cats won and covered last week, Cam. It was a cat week. I uh, wonder if that theme will continue this week. Panthers hosting the Colts. I'm leaning into here, Cam. Are you leaning I, there as well? I tell people about themes, and they laugh at me. It wasn't cats, but I had a country western theme with Broncos and Dallas, and then we added a cat. Did we not? Was Carolina my bronze pick, or was it Seattle? Uh, was no, it Jets, bird? Jets, Jets. Okay, whatever the hell it was, we. Okay, I, I have no idea. No, I didn't have the Jets in my mineral picks. Oh, sorry, it was Seattle, Seattle. It was Carolina, Dallas, and Seattle. Like Drew, come on, man. Like you, 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 you got. I'm looking at mine. I was looking here. at mine. Yeah, mine yeah. Is, stop yeah. looking at yours. I asked you. It was either Seattle or Carolina. I know that, and it was Seattle. Yeah. Next, Indy <laughs> Carolina. Give me Carolina. I'll take the three points. This is a very scary game because Indianapolis, their offense. Let's give them credit. Gardner Minshew can move the needle with these guys, but their defense has been atrocious. Uh, I got to take Carolina. This could be a, a game that I switch. Uh, maybe Carolina gets a little mojo after winning their first game. It was ugly, but they got it done, and we're getting three points. I see a really uh, tight game, so I'm going to take the dog. Give me, give me another cat. The cats have been on fire. Maybe they do it for another week. Uh, Cam, uh, Indianapolis is 2-1 and one on the road this season outright. Uh, I think they win this game. Uh, this is maybe one of my favorite picks of the week. I love Indy in this spot. Carolina coming off the emotional first win of the season for Bryce Young. First one of his career for Bryce Young, sorry. First one of the season for the team. They still maybe shouldn't have won that against Houston. I think Colts are a little bit better than Houston. Their offense is going to be able to move the ball. I can't see Carolina being able to keep up regardless of how bad you think the Colts defense is. I think Indy wins this game by like honestly like 17 to 20 points like i don't think this is close give me indianapolis here jonathan taylor might win this game himself the carolina offense just can't keep up they'll score like 10 to 13 and i think indy can score 30 to 37 in this game cam i don't know what to tell you i i, I just think indianapolis they've been looking good on offense but their defense is very porous so Drew, I'm going to be honest with you when we do these shows. We tape them earlier. Uh, yeah. Like, literally, if I if my life rested on an Indianapolis-Carolina game, like, I'd be very scared but because <laughs> I'm taking Carolina, but I don't have a lot of confidence in it. And I have a feeling I might make between five and seven changes this week. Yeah, I think gonna, about these it games. might be a like, lot this, of changes. These are our initial leans. Like, I'm, I don't even know, like, what game I love right now. Like, I'm having a lot of problems putting things together. Uh, all right, Cam, where do you think Mystery Tiebreaker Man is on this one? Oh, he's going with Indy for sure. Oh, correct, correct. Back on the winning yeah, train. You're right. Don't, 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 don't think. Just just react. Yeah, just react. react. Your gut feeling. Uh, the Giants, Cam, going to Vegas to take on the Raiders. Devontae Adams uh, could have had two like 70-yard touchdowns last night, uh, but Jimmy Garoppolo can't hit him. Can't hit the broadside of the barn. Jimmy yeah, you know what? He's got to also shut his lip because, you know what? He had one ball in his hands that should have been caught that whatever. That's it works fair. both in ways. The red zone. He is, in the red he is zone. right. He is right now twice. He, he dropped a couple balls in that game, but you're right on the bombs. That's on Jimmy. He's got to get him there. But arguing about not getting the ball is not really helping your cause. When you didn't say anything, you were getting the ball and things were going better. So sometimes it's just best to be frustrated, keep it in. And if you have one catch this week against the Giants, then you can go and, you know, say, Jimmy, I want to fight you. Like in, in yeah, well, a I mean, locker room fight. If, if, if you're Mark Davis, you should trade him. Just trade him. Like it's your, your team's not going anywhere. It's the deadline today. Trade him to a contender, get a bunch of picks back, like rebuild properly. Don't be like, I think the issue with the Raiders management is they oh, think they're man, better than imagine they Imagine this Devonte Adams to the Buffalo bills. You guys need a receiver. I don't know. That's too much money, though, Cam. We can't have Diggs. I don't. I know, but I'm just money. saying, like the, everything. No, everybody knows who's Devon Diggs going to get this and that. Like it's so predictable. Like, and you guys go and get Leonard Fournette. Nice move, Buffalo. <laughs> what are you guys doing? That's the last thing you need. You need a linebacker and secondary help, and you go get Leonard Fournette. Anyway, that's yeah. a story for another day. Yeah, that's a story for another day, Cam. Uh, I do agree. They yeah, well, how did you feel about it? Probably not very good. They needed a goal line back, so I don't mind it. He's not going to play. Okay. He's going to play three snaps a game. Who cares? Uh, okay. it's, it's a meaningless signing, but anyways, Cam, the giants Raiders, uh, two and a half point favorites at home. 
Daniel Jones is going to be back. Give me the Giants in this spot. Their defense has been very improved since their bye week. Uh, we've seen it the last three weeks. Uh, with Daniel Jones back, I think they win this game outright. So give me the Giants against the Raiders. We agree with each other. Like, I find it funny how the line went down, too. Like, people, like, you, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, reverse line the, movement. I'm taking the Giants. Yep. Uh, it's that simple. If you tell me Dan- Daniel Jones plays right now and he's going to be so damn motivated because they didn't play great. The thing about the Giants is they actually have weapons. Like, Barkley's good. Like, you drafted these receivers. Use them. Like, I know. They the don't want to use Hyatt. You just drafted yeah, this. Hyatt's, I know. The guy's a track star. I know Waller's – he got banged up. That's that's problematic. But if the Giants just run Saquon Barkley and have a game plan, they should go in here and win this game outright. I agree. I will take the New York Giants plus the points. All right, Cam. We're in agreement. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys t- traveling to Philly in an NFC East battle. The Eagles, three-point favorites at home. This is essentially the division on the line here because if Dallas goes down two games with the tiebreaker, they're probably out of the race to win the division. Um, so they're going to bring everything they have, Cam, but I just don't think it matters. I think Philly's just better than them. I'm going to play contrarian here. I This could change, but I think a lot of people are going to take the Eagles. I'm concerned if this game was in Dallas, I think I'd smash them because they play so good on turf, but I'll take the three. And I think Dallas will show up in this game. Just people think, oh, yeah, you got blown out by San Francisco and stuff. Each each fight, each game, each week in the NFL is its own entity. It's a really weird league. I think Dallas can hang. Give me Dallas plus three. Changeable pick, though. Don't like to bet against the Eagles. They're a very good football team. I'll t- But I'll take the three with Dallas as of now. Yeah, I just look at the coaching on each side. Like It's going to come down to a decision late, and McCarthy's going to screw it up, and it's going to Probably. result in the Eagles winning the football game. Yep. So i got to go with the Philly d- defense and offense. I think they outscore their, the Dallas offense, and I don't think without Trayvon Diggs in the secondary, they're going to be able to slow down A.J. Brown whatsoever. I think he gets another 125-yard game. What a streak he's on. Congratulations, A.J. Brown, beating Calvin Johnson's record for 125 yards in seven straight games. Um, Cam, he might be up for Offensive Player of the Year uh, if Tyreek Hill wasn't an animal and if Christian McGaffrey wasn't scoring a TD, two TDs every week. Um, it's going to be a real race for he that award. He still can be, team. though. Those other guys, uh, you know what I mean? Say they they start to tank. The 49ers aren't playing that great, whatever. Like, if he keeps on doing what he's doing, yes. So I know, but Tyreek's on pace for over 2,000 yards receiving, so it doesn't matter how many uh, yards well, A.J. Brown's getting. Well, he's, he has, he's not there yet, but I'm just saying the guys, you're right. Oh, I think it's between those three guys, though. I think we're in agreement there. But uh, all right, where do you think Mystery Tiebreaker Man is on this one? Oh, definitely Philadelphia. Oh, correct. How did uh, why definitely? What made you think definitely? I just know the way Mystery Bag Man thinks. All right, fair enough. Except for the one time today, you got one wrong. Was, uh, yeah, what game was that? Colts and friggin' Panthers. Like, give me a break. Was uh, it that game or what was it? I think it was Rams Packers. Yeah. Yeah, that was that one. Fair. Another horrible game. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, Cam, into the good games. Uh, the Buffalo Bills going to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. Bengals, two and a half point favorites at home. They absolutely slaughtered the Bills in Buffalo in the playoffs, and that's what everyone remembers. They beat the San Francisco 49ers outright. Joe Burrow looks like he's back. Everybody is going to be on Cincinnati. It's already 67% of the bets are coming in on Cincy. Tell me why. I shouldn't take Cincy when everything in my head is telling me to take Cincy, Cam. You do whatever you want. You're a Buffalo Bills fan. If you want to bet on Cincinnati, it's not my money. I'm just going to tell you this. The narratives in the NFL right now, who's the hottest team? Cincinnati, Joe Burrow looks great. This They should have beat them before. The Hamlin game, they probably would have beat Buffalo. But they, they murdered Buffalo in the playoffs. Yada, yada, yada. Buffalo can't cover a spread. They're 3-5 and five ATS. They can't get it done. Give me Buffalo. This game, I think, is almost like a Super Bowl game for them. I think they're going to come out gangbusters, and this is going to turn into a heavyweight fight, and I'll take the two and a half with Buffalo. I think they could win this game. Give me Buffalo Bill. It will not be a popular play. I don't care. I'm taking them. I'm fading the public, and I'm probably going to get burned, but I don't care. Buffalo. Uh, my issue Great team. Oh, yeah. By the way, I just want to make a statement to everybody. Listen, we pick every game on this show. These teasers are, it's teaser week. These two and a half point dogs look so good on teasers. Like if we didn't have to pick games, like I I would suggest I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with teasers this week. Drew, would you not agree? Yeah. And I know you're not. Cincinnati wins by three and I lose by the hook. I'm going great, great. But you know, I can (laughs) get eight and a half. Well, that's what I'm saying. I might even be teasing teams through zero cam. I know it's like the biggest frown upon thing. Don't listen to what anybody says about teasing through zero, whatever you do it your way. Like that's another thing. Everybody goes, oh, blah, 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 blah. Listen to these people. 
whatever, man. You do it. You whatever works for you, whatever system works for you, do it your way. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, that's stupid to do this and this. I work with guys who are like talk about these things. It's like, no, like it's anyway, it drives me nuts when everybody has advice and then you look at the picks and you're going, Yeah, thanks. Like I'll 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 do it my way. I'm just gonna I don't need to listen. So Buffalo, please. Fair enough, Cam. Uh, I'm going to go Cincinnati here just because I think the Bills' defense is still too banged up. Um, they haven't shown me that they can cover very well, and when you have Higgins, Boyd, and Chase on the other side with Mixon running up the middle, I think it's going to be too tough for the Bills' defense to handle. Do I want the Bills to win? Of course. Do I think they have the potential on offense to keep up with the Cincinnati Bengals? I do. I just don't think the defense is ready for this matchup. Maybe later in the season they would be, but I think this is a Cincinnati win where it's going to be like, 31 24 and the bills just didn't have enough defensive stops to sounds like you like the game. bills on a teaser drew yes 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 i think it'll be close enough for the teaser cam <laughs> uh but not so where do you think mystery tiebreaker man is on this one bengals Ooh, incorrect buffalo oh, oh he's back is he I, yeah. <laughs> what you're off the chiefs now but oh, yeah. my favorite team is the bills yeah hey here this is ridiculous you know he's got no faith in this team yeah None. It's- blindly picking them i think uh no and i hope i I hope i hope bagman wins because i'm on them too fair enough uh the jets cam hosting the la chargers the chargers coming off their big win over the chicago bears not so much the worst team in football anymore cam but uh do you think the jets defense can slow down herbert or do you think they cover the three points Uh, you're starting this one because i think i've started the last eight so Uh, i don't know about that i don't think we started but i'll start here i'll take the jets on monday night football cam uh, their defense shows up in big primetime spots. Chargers love the Charger these football games. Uh, the Bears' defense is not the Jets' defense, Cam. I think Herbert might throw three picks in the spot and go back to the not-very-good quarterback realm that you put him in a few weeks ago. Uh, I think the Jets can win yeah. this game outright. I think it's going to be low scoring, like 16-13. He beat the Bears, so who cares? But it, I know, that's no what I mean. Goes, I, everyone's like, oh, Herbert's so good now because he beat the Bears. This is what will impress me, though, Drew. If the Chargers actually win this game and start to like get on a little bit of a heater, let's let's you know I'll give them respect. But beating the Bears is one thing; beating the Jets is another thing. The Jets' offense reeks, though. That's the whole thing oh, I man. worry about. They can make mistakes in this game, but at, at a solid three, I'll take the Jets as well. But God, man, this game—it's I could see the Chargers winning by like three or four. Like it's going to be—it's weird, man. Tough game. I'll take the Jets. Yeah, I'm hoping it gets to like three and a half for four and a half by Monday Night Football. Maybe it won't. It'll can... go down to two and a half or stay at three. You think so? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, maybe you're people right. People are maybe not right. betting Chargers at three and a half. Sorry, it's not happening. It stays at three or it goes Chargers two and a half. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so we'll take three while we have it then. Um, yes. All right, let's get into our best bets of the week, Cam, brought to you by Sports Interaction. Um, let me just get to the ad read here quickly. Uh, I'm going to pause here because I'm going to put this back at the start where I forgot it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I brought it up and I was like, I did oh, not you're read the this. best, man. Now you got to keep some of this stuff in as well. You make me laugh, man. Okay. Uh, sorry. Here we go. All right, Cam. Now let's get into our best bets of the week, uh, our gold, silver, and bronze. We will start with your survivor selection. You are, have survived eight weeks, Cam. I will list off the teams you have used and you can tell me who you're rolling with. You've used the Commanders, the Giants, the Dolphins, the Cowboys, the Lions, the Bills, the Seahawks, and the Ravens last week. Who are you rolling with this week? Is it the Browns or the Saints? I'll go with Cleveland this week. I was thinking Ooh. about taking the Saints, but I'll take Cleveland Brown against Arizona. Cam. Uh, one thing is, I don't care if Kyler Murray starts. One thing about Cleveland is their defense is great. I'm not worried about them playing in Seattle last week. They're 3-1 and one ATS at home. They're a good home team. I'll take them. Being the college football aficionado that you are, tell us a little about Clayton Toon. Clayton Toon, quarterback, University of Houston. Uh pretty live uh, guy but i don't think he's ready for the nfl uh he played well in college but also i don't I, it's one of those things drew you know it doesn't matter who's playing for these guys right now kyler murray would get killed and clayton toon is going to get killed kyler murray you know he could come out there you know if you're not playing nfl football now and going and stepping onto the field actually i would say toon would be better because the fact that at least he's practicing and yeah. got a little bit more but i'm going to tell you it doesn't matter if it's murray toon whatever Whoever plays that Cleveland defense on the road is coming back in a body bag. So I'll take Cleveland. I think if you're Jonathan Gannon, you don't even let Murray start if he's ready because you you don't. This I is agree. a terrible spot. You want him to go against yep. the dog pound in Cleveland and your first start Good back. Point. No thanks. Uh, that's not that's not a recipe for success, Cam. All right, let's get into our best bets of the week. We'll go our bronze, silver, and gold. Do you want to start? Or would you like me to? I would love you to. Uh, my bronze selection of the week, Cam, will be the Indianapolis Colts minus three at Carolina. 
like I said, when we talked about the game, I think Indy has, scores way too many points for Carolina to keep up. The fact that it's only three, I love it. Give me the Colts minus three as my bronze selection. Okay, we're going to go with the Seattle Seahawks bronze selection. All these can change. I think they hang with Baltimore. I like the fact that, you know, they're playing good football right now. I worry about Geno Smith and that defense, but I think Seattle could hold down Baltimore's offense in this spot. So I'll take Seattle, but it's subject to change. I'm uh, sounds like a homer pick, man. Drew, I want to do some really stupid stuff, actually. Like, I want, I'm thinking about taking Green Bay, New England. Like, all right, sorts do of it. Weird do things. it. Do it. I'm all, I'm all for that, Cam. My silver selection is Daniel Jones and the New York Giants going to Vegas to take on the Raiders. I love them with Daniel Jones coming back. I think they scored too many points for the Raiders to keep up. Their defense has impressed me the last few weeks. Seems like they're back alive. They're back in the hunt of things. They know they can still make the playoffs in the NFC due to how bad the bottom half of the NFC is. So give me Daniel Jones and the Giants to win this game outright in their underdogs right now. Actually, I'm switching my bronze pick. I want to take uh, Cleveland as my bronze pick. They're my survivor pick as well. Sorry, Drew. I've, I screwed that up. I want Cleveland minus seven and a half. And while I'm at it, I want the New England Patriots as my silver pick minus three and a half against the commies. So bronze, Cleveland, silver Patriots. Yeah. I can't believe I'm going to probably take three favorites. Uh, yeah, that's not like you. You feeling okay? That's, uh, that's not, I the don't damn feel, special. I actually don't feel okay. I, I, we'll see what happens later. Uh, uh my goal to take my gold selection cam is the Kansas city chiefs in Frankfurt, Germany against the Miami dolphins. Call me crazy cam. I think the chiefs absolutely slaughter the dolphins in prime time for the world to see. Mahomes will be the king of Germany after all this is said and done. Uh, and Mike McDaniel will be back going, flying back to Miami tail between his legs, realizing, Hey, maybe I'm not the offensive genius, uh, that everyone thinks I am right now. It's still Andy Reed's mantle. So give me the chiefs as my gold. My gold, I have to take one dog because you're right, Drew. I must have a fever. I'm taking, uh, I got a fever for Tampa Bay and, and cannons and pirates, yards, Halloween. Let's go with the pirates and the bucks plus three. And I think they can get it done against Houston. I think this is a spot where they can win outright. I was looking at the giants as well, but you got them covered. So I'm going to take Tampa Bay over Houston. I think they bucks can get it done this week. Tampa Bay would have been my fourth, whatever mineral you want to call your fourth cam. I love the Bucks in that spot as well. And uh, foil. we and should have both picked the, you should have picked the Giants with me. When we were, when we were together in our best bets, we do really well. So maybe Thursday we'll do a little switch. Things can change, Drew. Honestly, Thursday, I I might like just g- grab three dogs. I gotta think about this. I need a couple days and I gotta like go over this stuff. And trust me, I once I feel confident, I have a feeling the Giants might make the minerals actually. But as of now, I'm gonna take the Bucks. All right, everyone. That does it for uh, week nine, episode one of the Drew and Stu podcast. Happy Halloween. Cam, you wearing any costumes tonight? Uh, or are you just chilling at home in the dark? Other than looking like, yeah. <laughs> what am I going to wear? Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I got Scooby-Doo. I could put, I can hang out with him. He, actually, he's uh, great. He's 1-0 versus the spread. Carolina true, last week, true, remember? People like him. Actually, I got to come back with him on Thursday for Scooby's pick. I mean, I'll do it. Scooby's pick of the week. Ooh, I like cool? it. I, it's got to be I, an underdog. Do that? It's got to be a dog. Yeah, it'll be a dog, friend. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him come on camera next time. He's a little bit shy today. He's sick <laughs> right, too. <Ken>. And, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, Drew. I don't know. I don't have any outfits. I can put that Seattle hat on. Right, it's too right. tight. I got. Well, let's, let's go then. Scary movie pick for the night for viewers watching at home. What's the classic that you'll go to if you if you're in the mood to watch something creepy or scary? I don't want to sound. I, I don't like scary movies. Really? None? No. Not even like... uh, Like, I don't really care. Like, uh, Friday the 13th, like... Gabe told me I got to watch this one where Jason goes to space. Apparently, it's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, Jason X. Anyway. Jason X. (laughs) Is it good? It's so stupid. It sounds good. Okay. No. uh, uh, Jason in space sounds amazing to me. He's just slicing astronauts. And, like, they they wake him up from his cryo sleep. It's a terrible movie. Yeah, doesn't he take over the ship? Yeah, it's a terrible movie. Uh, no, it's a. Uh, what was the fine? Let's instead of, because you don't have picks. What was the first scary movie you saw as a kid? Do you remember in theaters? Or was it like you and your buddies went to watch uh, Pet Cemetery or something? I don't know. Pet Cemetery is not scary. I think. Ooh, Pet Cemetery. Well, I mean, Steven it was scary Kimber. for. Uh, okay. You know, uh, 
I'm thinking the 80s. No, I, I watched movies, a movie. Yeah. It's not a horror movie, but it was called Blue Velvet when my buddy, my brother was banging his girlfriend and the guy, Dennis Hopper, was chopping off ears. It freaked me out for the rest of my life. It's not really a horror movie. It's more just kind of a sicko movie. I've never anyway, heard, heard of that movie. Yeah, because I'm old. Uh, I don't know the first horror movie I saw. Blue Velvet, 1986 film, no, a young college you, you, student. You don't, want, don't, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Dude, dude don't, don't watch it with your girlfriend. It'll, it'll actually, like, you won't be able to get an erection for a while. It's very dangerous. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Uh, I, I got nothing. I I absolutely have nothing. So okay, you so you're not you're not a Friday the Thirteenth. You're not a Freddy Krueger. You're not a Jason. You're not a Saw. I like you're not Jason. A I like Jason. I like Jason. I Freddy the Krueger's fine. Like, what are we picking killers with minerals? Well, no, I was I, thinking like if you were like to pick like one of these guys to fight with, like you're, I'm going Freddy oh, Krueger. Who, who would I align myself with? Yeah, I'm going Freddy Krueger. Freddy all day. Krueger. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. He gets yeah. your opponents when they're sleeping. Like you can't. Everyone's got to sleep at some point. Like good luck. Oh, Anyways, yeah, that's what, what that's what I'm, wa- <laughs> that's what I'm watching tonight. If uh, we're watching a scary movie, it's uh, Freddy Krueger, Friday the 13th. Or, uh, sorry, Nightmare on Elm Street. That's what it's called. It was yeah, yeah, it's called Nightmare on Elm Street. Really. Yeah, like, I knew it. I knew it. I'm, I was thinking of Santa Claus with the little kid, the annoying Santa Claus movie everyone loves that I hate. Uh, I will that? say this, though. I love Chucky movies because you get comedy. Fair. Like, I like remember, hi, I'm Chucky. I'm the president now. Ha, ha, ha. And vote for me type of stuff. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid that I love it. Like, Chucky it's, movies, are they're my favorite. So I, it's can like I say, Leprechaun. Are they, they're not really scary, though. They're more funny. No, yeah, yeah, I agree. When he's just got the scissors, he's like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like I mean, a Leprechaun been, cam. You ever heard of, the, yeah. seen those movies? <laughs> Yeah, well, they're ridiculous. They're, they're It'll be ridiculous. like a guy making out with a girl, and then the girl turns into a lawnmower because it's the leprechaun. And he starts sawing <laughs> yeah. the guy's face. I'm just like, what You're the right. hell is going on? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good movie if you want to get into you know, some treats. But anyway, yeah, yeah. that's uh, Chucky, John Anyways. Gruden. All right, guys. Uh, happy yeah. Halloween again. Please like, subscribe to the podcast on YouTube. Download it on all your audio platforms. Rate and review it. It helps me out. It helps Cam out. Once again, this show is brought to you by sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN19+. plus. Please play responsibly. We will see you on Thursday for our props and our pick updates. And to see all the switches Cam makes, I think he's going to make 11 of them, but we'll see. Seven. All right. Take care, everybody. This has been Drew and Stu. Powered by Sports Interaction, your homegrown sports book. Always remember to bet local. Follow Drew at Producer Drew and Cam at Cam Stewart Live. May the winners be yours and all of the best bets hit. Yeah.